Happy Saturday, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with a five box, 100.9 mile per hour fastball baseball mixer, random team break number one. At the very end of the break, we're going to re-randomize everybody's names with a different dice roll and give away this. He inscribed it 100.9 miles per hour fast. I don't know what that means. Is that the fastest he ever threw? He, he didn't throw faster than that. I guess, I guess in his day, 100.9 miles per hour is pretty quick. All right, big thanks to all of these folks right here for getting into the action. Leonard with that last spot mojo. All teams are in. So the dice roll for these two lists are going to be 10 times. Six and a four, 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10th and final time. After 10 times, Ronnie McIntosh down to James O. Six and four, ten times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After ten times, we got the Twins down to the Blue Jays. All right, so Ronnie McIntosh, you have the Twins, Patrick Kay with the Tribe, Tim with the Pirates, David Duffy with the Phillies, Daniel, you got the Mariners, EO with the Brew Crew, Jason with the Nats, Robert G with the Gigantes, Michael Kuntz with the Mets, 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 Daniel Patera with the Friars and the Royals, Derek with the Cards, Jake with the Red Legs, Patrick with the Bravos, Robert with the Athletics, Leonard, you got the Bo Sox, James O with the Bronx Bombers, the Tigers for Anthony, Rays for Daniel, the Dem Bums for Thomas Hunter. That's what they call them in Brooklyn. Brian Crouch with the Rocks. Garrett with the Rangers. There's no clever nickname for the Rangers, right? Ed with the Snakes. Daniel with the Halos. Joe Babcock with the Strohs. Cubbies for Daniel Patera. Lance with the O's. The Fish for Ronnie. Shy Sox for Daniel. And the Blue Jays. Jays of the Blue for James O. So let's alphabetize by team. And feel free to trade if you would like. Remember, there's only five boxes in this. So it's a box of 2014 Bowman Draft Baseball, Asia Edition. So keep that draft class in your mind. 2017 Clearly Authentic Baseball, or 2016 Triple Threads Baseball, 2017 Topps Chrome uh, Baseball, 2018 Topps Chrome Baseball. So a lot of autographs in this set right here. Uh, Astros are up for trade. Brew Crew up for trade. Rockies up for trade. Yes, Rick Barker is right, folks. I think it's on Netflix, right? That uh, There's a baseball documentary called Fastball, which features... Uh, I think it open. I think there's features a lot of players, but I think it features old Bullet Bob, I think. Some old footage of, uh, of him. But uh, it's a good doc. I think there's also a corresponding knuckleball documentary as well, which is also fun. So it's a good doc. Is it still on Netflix? Is it on the still on the flicks? Well, while the trade window is happening, we'll go to instantwatcher.com. I don't know if I don't know if I see it on there. Indians for Astros, maybe Brewers for Rockies. We have an Astros Giants deal, says Robert G. Joe, are we still good for good with that? I don't remember who's in any of these sets, so I couldn't really say if that's a good deal or a bad deal. <laughs> I'm assuming you guys know. All right, Joe says done. All right, so Houston for Oak or for SF confirmed. So Joe is out of the Astros spot. Robert G out of the Giants spot is now in the Astros spot. And Joe is now in the Giants spot right here. All right, anybody else? 
Trade window going once. Trade window going twice. Trade window closed. TWC. Let's print. Let's rip. Let's see what we got. Good luck, everybody. Good luck, good luck, good luck. So here are the boxes right here. We'll start we'll start from uh we'll start from past to present. And then everyone has a shot at the mini helmet. Or maybe we'll close out with these two guys. These are nicer. I mean, we'll close out with those two guys. So we'll, we're not going to go past present. We're just going to go all over the place. All right. So on the 2nd of March, the 2nd already. Good luck, everyone. So there's T's next to the trading traded teams. So we will know that, you know, see who draws first blood and all that fun stuff. Okay. So let's go with uh, Bowman Draft Baseball Asia Edition. Which I don't think it's any different from the checklist isn't isn't any different the Asia edition. It's just different parallels I think exclusive to this edition. I did see that Brady go for go for that amount. We were at the uh, Tops Industry Conference when I think that sold right sold on a Sunday or Monday. Tops Industry Conference was a buzz with that sale. It's a sign of a uh, sign of some strength in the hobby, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Trey Youngstock. Yeah, we've we've been monitoring him all season. He's definitely been st steadily climbing. Is that right, Rick? Did did Tom Brady comment on that? He said he was going to go home and dig up his own cards after seeing that himself. I guess he could autograph it himself and sell and sell it. Start, starts putting his own cards up on eBay. Good luck, everybody. Start with 2014. Ronnie Williams to 399. Got this Lucas Sims Mini and Corey Seeger. Nice refractor. And there's our first autograph for the Angels. Chris Ellis with the Angels. That goes to Daniel Patera. The wrong size top. This is the right size. There you go. First auto out of the gate. Colton Carver's a Hawks fan. And seeing Trey Young put it all together, it's nice for him. It's a facsimile autograph. Yeah, I actually think that was a pretty good. Uh, it was a pretty good trade when they made that trade on what draft night or something like that. Um, but they they also got an extra pick right from Dallas. So there's Nick Williams. So not only do they have Trey Young, they've got an extra pick. I think. And they've got a solid core. They got John Collins, Trey Young, Kevin Huter. All right, so with another good draft, 
if they have another good draft and maybe uh, maybe get a uh, you know maybe a free agent or two you know maybe a top not, I don't know if I don't know if Atlanta's gonna get a top free agent no offense but maybe they will I don't know that would be huge that would be huge for them but if they if they get get a couple solid pieces together. You know, maybe just a hair under under the max kind of guys in a weaker East. That could be that could be something. That could be that, that could be the start of something for the uh, for the Atlanta Hawks. That's for sure. All right, there you go. That's 2014. Joe, have I heard of blowout cards? Oh, you're in Virginia. I have. We were we were hanging out with the with one of the top dogs at Blowout Cards all conference long. So yeah, I have heard of them. All right, let's go to 2016 Topps Chrome Baseball. Yeah, we're, uh, we're we're friends with those guys. Um, you know, I've I've never I've never been. Is it open to the public? Is it something? Is there is that a, is it a store? I have no idea. I thought they I thought they did everything online, but maybe there's a location where you can just walk in. There has to be, right? If it's that close, we should definitely go. I'm not sure where... Where exactly in Virginia? E, uh, Eric, where, where, where exactly are they in Virginia? All right, this is 2016. Good luck, everyone. Deho Lee is your first autograph. That goes to the Mariners. Daniel Batero with that one. Miss California. I'm not sure if she's really an Angels fan, is she? I mean, she's just from Orange County. There's Robert Stevenson. Oh, I thought that might be numbered. It's not. It'll ship. There's Jared Eikoff, rookie auto for the Phillies. That'll be for David Duffy. There you go. I think Dave's got the exact city there. Rest in VA. Phillies, that's 361 out of 499. There's Byung Ho Park out of 275. And Caleb Cowart for the Angels. Daniel Patera with another one. Is he going Philippians on that? The le letter letters to the those guys, chapter four, verse thirteen.
There's Kelby Tomlinson. Rookie autograph going to uh, going to the Giants. That'll be Joe Babcock. Joe Babcock drawing first blood in the trade. And put a bird on it. Greg Bird for James O. and the Bronx Bombers. Purple parallel. Sixty one out of two fifty. Nice, Greg put a bird on it. Brandon Phillips blue to one fifty. Tyson Ross to three seventy five. I think that's Joe Ross's brother, right? I'm pretty sure he is. And looks like that is that. Now we will head into 2018 Topps Chrome Baseball. Well, EJC, if you end up going to blow out, you be sure to scout it, scout it out, and tell Thomas Fish that Jaspi says hi. Tell him, hey, I love Jaspi's case breaks. Jaspi's are the best. This is 2018 Topps Chrome Baseball now. All right, we're going to lead off with a Walker Bueller rookie card. Could be could be a, a could be a breakout season for him. Pitching pitching the entire season could be huge. There's Otani and there's Max Freed as your autograph. That'll be for Patrick Kay and the Braves. Austin Hayes is your Blue Wave autograph for Lance and the O's. DK Metcalf ran a 4-3-3-40? Jeez. 105 out of 150. How, how huge is he? He's pretty big, right? Gavin, what's going on? Uh, you better be happy. You guys are paying him a ton of money for Bryce Harper on the Phillies. Gavin's happy that the Phillies got Bryce Harper. He better deliver some chips, right? And I'm not, I'm not talking potato chips, championships. <laughs> got Adrian Beltre, blue wave to 75 for the Rangers. That'll go to Garrett. So Metcalf is 6'4", 220 to 240. And he ran a 4-3, 40? That's ridiculous.
There's Adrian San Yeah, it does sound like a Raider, Rick Barker. Size and speed. What, 27 reps on the bench, 225. I actually don't know weights that much, so I don't know. That, that means nothing to me in my head. <laughs> I'm like, oh, he, he lifted a lot of iron. But uh, the speed, I can wrap my head around speed. Jordan Luplo for the Pirates. Tim Martin with the Pirates. Wow, Rick Barker. You're talking crazy. You're talking, that's, that's reckless. You can't talk like that. Raiders got Kyler Murray and Metcalf. Kaboom. Oh, why stop there, Rick Barker? Why stop there? My Raiders should go out and get Le'Veon Bell. Le'Veon Bell. Might as well get Antonio Brown. You know, dig up some, dig up some Pro Bowl offensive linemen. You know. Get uh get get replacement Khalil Mack. Get some linebacker help, some special teams help. Get everybody else. Boom, Super Bowl. Brandon Woodruff reveals a Clint Frazier rookie autograph. Oh, don't worry, Kyle Kramer. Their D's garbage. What are you talking about? Carl Joseph's going to get extended. Gary Ann Connolly there. Maurice Ho Mo, Mo Hurst at the front. Just need to get a few more guys. Boom. Some linebackers. More more pass rushers. Probably revamp the entire linebacking core. And then, boom. And Dominican Sue's a free agent. That'll go to the Yankees. That'll go to James O. Woodruff goes to the Brew Crew, E.O. Still good, Joe P. Or I thought it was Joe P. Arthur P. Saying still garbage. Raiders will still be garbage. Come on. There's Bryce Harper right there, the $330 million man. I'm not giving up on Derek Carr. Apparently the organization wants to. I mean, listen, the Raiders got rid of Amari Cooper. They got rid of they got rid of everybody pretty much. Khalil Mack. I mean, if they're going to do that, you might as well just, just, just revamp the whole – trade everybody then. What's the point of keeping Derek Carr at this point? Uh, Raiders have pick four. I know that for sure. And then the Cowboys first round pick, which is late first round. And then uh, whatever the Bears pick is, also late first round. In the 20s-ish? Their pick is four. I don't know. Kyler Murray is probably going to go to the Cardinals, right? I feel, like, I feel like the rumors, the speculation on Kyler Murray going first overall is getting bigger and bigger. Ooh, wow. Are you kidding me? Are we going to get a white whale out of a one box and a mixer? Ooh. Ooh. Wait, who can throw 400 yards a game? It won't matter with that defense. Oh, Derek Carr or any, any Raiders quarterback? Yeah, that Raiders defense is pretty bad. There's Bryce Harper. All he needs to do is hit like 267. He should be pretty great. In that ballpark, he's going to rake in that ballpark, in that Phillies ballpark. There's Lou Gehrig to 150. Rake. Julio Urias should be... I think he's going to be pretty incredible this season too, finally, after some injuries out of 150. And there's Sonny Gray out of 340. Machado, Correa. Gavin saying, I think the Raiders go someone high in talent, possibly QB if they want to move on from Carr or Metcalf. Well, yeah, obviously they're going to go for someone high in talent. <laughs> it's not like they're going to draft people low in talent, right? There's Taiwan Walker, 21 out of 27 jersey. No, I mean, people ask me this question all the time. They're, they're, like, they're like, hey... 
you know, who do the, who are the Raiders going to get? Who do they need to get? What are their needs? And I was like, the need is everywhere. <laughs> so just take best available. Whoever falls to them, just take them. George Springer, Jersey and Auto. 16 out of 75. Robert G with the Astros. Got the Astros in a trade. Nice. There you go. Behind Jose Abreu is Mark McGuire Cardinals edition. Six out of 27 on that triple relic. That goes to Derek and the Redbirds. No, they can't draft a new head coach. We're stuck, stuck with him for 100 years. All right, so believe it or not, out of one box of triple threads, there's a white whale here. Ooh. Ooh. The maker of shoes, Matt Shoemaker, triple relic, an autograph, white whale, one of one. Daniel Patero with the Angels. Nice. Daniel, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. There you go. Can't believe we have to wait until like later this fall to see triple threads. And there's his teammate, Mike Trout. All right. That Taiwan Walker went to uh, Daniel and the Mariners, by the way. All right. 2017 Topps Clearly Authentic Baseball. One encased acetate card inside. Autographed. Hard signed. Good looking stuff. It's going to be BAM. Jameson Tyon. Nice. 12 out of 25. I like Jameson Tyon. There you go. And that goes to the Pirates. That'll be for Tim Martin. Tim Martin, there you go. All right, now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Who is going to get... I thought Rex would be in this mixer for sure with this Nolan Ryan. But did not see him in this break. All right, here's what it looks like. There you go. So I'm not sure what... That must be his fastest fastball, right? Why would he inscribe that? Anyhow... There's Nolan Ryan's gold ink autograph on the uh, Angels mini helmet. It's a good looking helmet. It's even got a little sponge inside too. PSA DNA, which is very strong. That's a definitely boosts the value of this even more. That's her to COA. Nice. All right. Let's grab. Let's go back to the list first. Boom. Let's get Ed down to Jason Butcher. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize that list five and a six, 11 times. Name on top gets Nolan Ryan mini helmet. Autograph mini helmet. Good luck. After 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11. Then final time after 11 times. Drum roll. Congrats to 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. And the winner is EO. Eric, I don't think I called your name once in this. I think you got like a Brewer's Parallel out of one of the Topps Chrome. But you'd also have this Nolan Ryan Autograph Mini Helmet Angels Edition of Nolan Ryan. Gold ink autograph. And 100.9 mile per hour fastball inscription. Maybe as fast as fastball? So there you go, folks. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.